The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell, make sure you go to our own page and check out our more videos. Thank you. We'll be discussing bitterness. Yaudie. Bitterness is seed of resentment in the hearts of men. Seed of resentment in the heart. Seed of resentment lodging in the heart. Bitterness is seed of anger in the heart. And when we are talking about resentment, we are talking about the feeling of displeasure at some act, some remark, at some person. Regarded as causing injury or insult. So this bitterness is a feeling. And this a feeling of displeasure. At someone's act. A person's remark, or against a person, and I say it's your obi as regarded as causing injury or insult. Ah, you who says I don't know a praying and I said, Dear Tim. So, in, in this cursing bitterness, there is always the offender, the offense, <laughs> yeah, and so there are so many things in it. And you see, this the one who is bitter. That's a strong displeasure of at something. Considered as unjust. Ah, oh, no, no, attention be Or offensive. Insulting. Oh, who said Or base. the reason why people who are bitter will always hold on to their feeling is that they consider. That someone has offended. See, bitter people dis describe this feeling of displeasure as righteous anger. See, the reason why they describe the feeling as righteous anger is that they, they think that they have been treated unjustly from their own judgment and perspective. So they hold on to it until they are destroyed. Let me go back to that again. Because bitterness has to do with offense. Because of a remark. Or an action. When that, this, that feeling of displeasure. Just into the person's spirit. This fellow who considers that he has not been treated well. Holds on to the anger. Holds on to the displeasure because in and of himself he feels justified to hold on to it. And they say that this is righteous anger. See, the human being is a complex being. The human being is a triune being. Created after the image of God. The human being is a spirit. 
that has a soul and lives in a body. What we always see on the outside is the body. But the real human being is on the inside. The, the spirit and the soul, which is unseen, is sometimes described as the heart. The hidden man, the inner man. So when we are talking about the heart, we are referring to the soul and the spirit. Which is the hidden man. The man unseen. So what we always see on the outside. That which we always dress. The body. Not the real man. If you like the outer man. But you see the inner man. The soul and the spirit. They are the shakers and the movers. Of the human being. Yeah the heart is the shaker. And yeah. the See, you are a good person. Or a bad a bad one. Depending on the state of your heart. You cannot read a person's face that this man is a good man. You'll be, you'll be making a mistake. A good man or a bad man is dependent on the state of his heart. The state of the inner man. You see, the human being is self-aware. He is able to stand aside his action. The human being is self-aware. He is able to stand aside his actions. So this is a human being. Like Judas. He is self-aware. He knows what he was going to do in the Gethsemane. He went with a kiss. You see that the mouth is doing this. But the inner man is not contributing. The real man is standing aside the actions. That is how dangerous the human being is. That is why you don't have to trust a human being. Me, I don't trust you. Me, I don't even trust myself. How much more can I trust you? Human beings, you need to monitor and, and, and you don't have to just be gullible at all that they are saying. I've even observed that most often than not, people will come giving you advice, but behind the advice, they have some interest in Because it's not the So don't look at the beautiful face. Oh, it's okay. She could be a good wife. You don't marry face. You marry the spirit and the soul. And to mention any man, can say where the the name said the tiano and your boy your papa so wa yenada. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <You see? laughs> One time when we go to church, and then if let's pray that a strong wind will just enter the church, you see the rear hair of the woman, you'll be shocked. <laughs> Jesus knew this very well. That is why on the sermon on the mount, he said, Blessed are the pure in heart. You see, when we are even worshipping, he says that these people are worshipping with, with, with their lips, 
but their heart is far away he's always paying attention to the inner man the state of the inner man sorry blessed are the pure in her for they shall see god blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god sometimes you can see a fellow worshiping intensely the way his face is looking and how he's being so religious you may think that this one is a candidate for heaven but brothers and sisters you go and ask God. Matthew chapter 12. From verse 33 to 35. Matthew chapter 12. From verse 33. Make a tree good. And its fruit, fruits will be good. Or make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. Yes. You brood of vipers, how can you, who are evil, say anything good? How can you? Who are evil say anything good. So once the tree is not good, you don't expect to say anything good. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Sometimes people will say certain things say that I, I didn't mean it. Yeah. But how can you say that which is, is, which is good when your heart is full of evil? How can you who are evil say anything good? Because when the evil is in your heart, you don't expect good to come out of your mouth. How can you? Simply means by what method? In what way? How can you possibly do that? Let's listen to the big one, 35. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him a good man brings out Good things out of the good stored up in him. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. How many of us have stored evil in us? See, there is no one. Also, be a man in is this scripture force? But what this means is this. As we travel on the road of life. Consciously or unconsciously. We are gathering things into our hearts. It may be good or evil. But we are gathering. We pick some from our parents. We pick some from our friends. That is why the Bible says evil communication will corrupt of good morals as you are engaged in evil communication you are picking something into your spirit we gather some from school some from our teachers some from what we learn we get some from our reading we, 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 we always we are gathering we are always gathering um some years back 
I was on leave and I was in this pastor's house. And he told me a story. And then he felt that because of that we needed to help a certain woman who was going to be a pastor's wife. And his worry, the pastor's worry is that this woman is so hot tempered. And that he feels that the young man is a good material, but the wife's anger is sometimes very dangerous. And so this pastor and the wife have they have also come to visit him this uh, uh him so they were in the mission house uh because they were in his former station they were just coming to bid him farewell so that they can go to the bible school and then as a brand yeah yes yes you know so for the now what we do so for if you only need you know about what's yes you want it or the crowd on papa now walk us off with you so when the pastor actually express his fear uh, he decided that I should help him so that when he comes back in the evening, we will sit this woman down and kind of advise her. The bra software chair, a dear air hand in the moon, now or chess anchor, say, or so for Nipa Yetitin, and he did ba one transit. Yeah, so he left for the office. And I was at home in the mission house. Then whilst I was in my room just doing my own thing, I remembered that I needed to listen to some some news. I needed some information. And Tibra, me want me dem one, and I me kai say, oh, as I say, me to me take a save, me pe, and same be every mo. So when I came out, I saw that the children in the house it was vacation. They were sitting at the living room watching television, but the channel that they were viewing was not the channel I needed. And then I realized that the elderly elderly in the house they are also watching that television. And I realized that uh, So Traditionally, I needed to come to the children and plead that they should let me just tune uh, this thing to a different channel. Just three minutes here and then you, it won't be long and then they will, they will, uh, they will have their channel back. So I pleaded with them and all of them said, so, oh, it's okay, that Eric is okay. And so... They started leaving the place. But there was this girl who was lying on the floor. Her face was white. She wouldn't want to leave. So she said, "I'm trying to leave." She said, "I'm trying to leave." She said, "I'm trying to leave." She said, "I'm trying to to leave." She said, "I'm trying to leave." She said, "I'm trying to She lifted herself and she stood on her knees. She lifted her eyes and looked at me. Now, nobody has looked at me in that manner. And so when I saw her face, I was afraid. So I just said, "Oh, okay, no problem. You you carry on. I'll I'll come back after an hour because every hour the CNN will give some news. So after an hour, but the children in the house will force this one to go." I said, you see, share my name, and I said, oh, dear, I'm not sure if you're 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 not sure if she me ni mo ade ni sa chere me so ye mi say i was afraid na ma come to ye pa see normally when you are a pastor people will not do that to you directly she pimpi no say we software ni pan time ni we e di e wanim but you see and so 
the lady that we are going to talk to that is the daughter if this is the child so we and it nebano let's imagine the case that we have in hand But where did this girl get all this kind of evil from? Now, so you know, we, are, we, we, we don't grow, we, don't, we, are not, we don't come onto the planet Earth with all this anger in us. Where is she getting them from? I was just to you well, that are at least from the mother. The mother's actions and inaction. This girl is gathering them into the heart. Unconsciously. Unconsciously. These are habits. He is picking them from the mother. Habits come out of continuous action. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. Proverbs 4, verse 20, 21. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Are there my son, pay attention to what you say. Turn your ears to my words. Pay attention to what I say. And turn your ears to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart now pay attention to what i say hey give ye to my words don't let them leave your sight keep them within your heart what is this man trying to say so he's just trying to tell us that it is about what we give attention to what, what will fill our heart is what we focus on what will fill our heart is what we give our ear to do not let them out of your sight what we behold is what will fill our heart now Verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows out of it. So all our senses are gazed to the heart. All our senses draw things into the heart. And that is why the Bible says, God is heart. So all our senses draw things into the heart. Especially the eye gate and, and the, the ear gate. They draw things into the heart. So guard the heart. Because out of the heart comes all issues of life. You need to be careful of the inner man. We are gathering. So be careful. When you see one, two people standing somewhere discussing about an elderly person. Just guard your heart. Don't just go and join them. Talking. 
na munko so anka sa opening the door of your heart to evil u bie wa kuma pono no e dia mane bone soon you become like them enche no ai se wom guard your heart o wa kuma ho ban sie out of it comes all issues of life e mu ene nkwa e di fire nyina e blessed are the pure in heart e sha ne wo wa kuma mutie for they shall see god won wo be ho nyankopon matthew 15:18 and 19 e hwe matthew asempa no eti dunum enyimu dun otwe ani dun kro matthew 15:18 and 19 but the things that come out of a person's mouth come from his heart and these defile them na die efri enu mu efri adie no yes efri onipa akoma mu na eno ani gu nipa ho fi for out of their heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false testimony slander all this he says that is coming out of the heart na kumenu mu ana adwemboni ewudisem ayefasem adwamansem ewifusem adansi krumu ani abususem ewu so we need to guard the heart in jesus say ye bo akoma no ban ye especially ititrenu because of this malady of the heart called bitterness e sane ne fa akoma ehu a e fere no yawde it is a malady eye nia enya de pa of the heart e fa akoma no it is a disease eye akoma no yade that the heart contracts ah etumi bo akoma no sometimes you take it to the hospital they will have no idea e to de bia odi we kwaya re sabe a obi eni obi nya no aduro as you how to cure it kwaya obe fa so asania hebrews chapter 12 omi enhwe hebrew for woman eti tumi no verse 15 enyimu now let's start from 14 14 is much more popular than 15 Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy with that holiness no one will see the Lord. Ye hwe Hebrew for woman no eti dumie nu enyimu dunaye. Chirosem no se. Hebrew for woman eti dumie nu enyimu dunaye no se muni nipa nyina ntem enni no asomdue ne ahote a obi ahote a obi kwete a ori hunu ewrade no akire so he is not going to still talk about this verse and but then he moves to verse 15 otwa so ewudu num no see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defy many na mo hwe yie na obi amfiri onyankopon adom no ho ankachi na wanyete se ihini I want you to be and free and yet or how biara now see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defy many now when you say in here I want you know and as I want you to be a in free and yet or how am be how you see see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and free adom no ho anhwe as no bitter root grows up to cause trouble it is going to grow not on the physical body it is it grows bitter roots this bitter roots grows within the heart na awon yunu enhini bi enyini ama me yo how enfa mamo no me ti say e awon yunu enhini no enyini ewo nipadua no so na mum enyini ewo efri akomanim hebrews 13 verse 12 enhwe hebrew forma etidu miensa enyimu du mienu no yes see to it brothers and sisters that none of you has a sinful unbelieving heart that turns away from the living god hebrew forma no eti du miensa hebrews 3 verse 12 mo maye enhwe hebrew forma no eti miensa enyimu du mienu no hebrew forma eti miensa enyi budumie no no kyerosem no ese na munhwe yie anuanom na akoma bone a enyi nie amma mu mu biara mu na wanwai amfiri onyankopon tiasefo no eho so let's go back to hebrews 12 15 inti mumaye nko hebrew forma etidumie no enyi mu dunum no bio see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defy many 
Chwa se amise mwenshe ye na ubi Enfri o nyankopon adom no hon Ankechi na wanye te se awanyono entini bia Enfri ameyo hao anfa amamu So when this bitterness takes root in you and it will cause trouble and this i yaw dear way say and you need a woman at your how ever and it will defile many now i best say a for so it causes trouble to the carrier and the at your how a bread near or son and it will defile many now i best say a for so see this bitterness we are talking about okay yaw dear you can once a minute it's like a viral disease it is a anxiety it is acquired okay and it destroys na esayade the carrier ni a okura no esaye no anani ewo ni mu no esaye no it defiles many na esan san afofro say it has spreading effects it to me sign it is infectious it to me sign afofro see if you like okay so we pair go and befriend this woman who recently divorced the husband omodia na woni mami ya nanu ya oja ni kunu enkoye namfo I give you two years. A mau, infie mi no pe. I give you two years. Infie mi no pe. You be confused. Yeah. Why you no be your kids ni? Why you no be your kids? She starts talking about marriage and her husbands and how she free she has become. You be confused. So she says she or kasafa ekrunu mo eni se ni afibro ja ni kuni wesi enya ni fan hudi ya. Anja na bribi abautrim. Bitterness is like a viral disease, like COVID. It destroys the bearer, the one who carries it. And it will destroy many else. Because he goes out as a carrier. As a carrier of, of bitterness. It is destroying her. But as she moves around, now all she spreads it. Now, or the sign of a Let's say somebody is so bitter against this presiding elder. Well, if you be an obia, the presiding elder, we are here, and I say, you are the only mutiano. Then she goes to church. Now, okay, sorry. Let me say, he goes to church. Another elder is not is not too free with the presiding elder. He is a bit bitter about the presiding elder. They go to church, and this elder did not come to church. So, right after church, this elder who has some feeling about the presiding that is evil goes to visit the one who didn't come to church. He goes there and he says, Oh, praise the Lord, I came to visit. Oh, praise the Lord, I came to visit. Oh, praise the Lord, I came to visit. Oh, praise the Lord, I came to Didn't you come to church, Elder? Oh, no, I was not feeling well at all. Oh, I was not This morning, I was not feeling well at all. Oh, I was not feeling well at all. This other Elder will say that he's even good that he didn't come to church. Today, insults, insults. The way the presiding elder insulted us. presiding elder no Before he leaves this elder, he has infected this elder with bitterness. If God does not allow angels to cause this man to go home, by the time he If God does not allow angels to cause this man to go home, by the time he goes round all the members, he has affected them all with COVID, <laughs> COVID bitterness. They are very dangerous. Unfortunately, sometimes we spare them in the church. We don't discipline them because people think that this is not evil. They think that they, you should fornicate, then they know that you have committed the greatest sin. They believe such people and they destroy the church. They destroy the church more than they bitterness. It will cause trouble to the carrier. 
how dear osono and then he will also defile many na enu akire no e be say afofro so defile many so bitterness has devastating effects and the yaudi wo wo e say ade bitterness destroys yaudi e dey dey say e na i want to quickly look at some how bitterness destroyed bitterness we have said will destroy the individual it doesn't matter how justified you think it may be a righteous anger but you see you once there is seed of resentment in you you are sure that you are going to be destroyed by that seed bitterness destroys relationships it destroys families it destroys marriages see in marriage there could be a standoff now the standoff between the man and the woman for about two weeks they are not talking to each other they will go to church they will close from church and then they will continue they will meet each other and nobody will say praise the Lord no. when the man leaves you just leave a note that I'm gone if he has to leave some money then you just put it somewhere hoping that the lady will see it the woman also goes he, he sees the money he picks it but he will not even tell the man that i've seen the money this is what is going on in most christian homes yeah, for two weeks three weeks this thing can continue and then sometimes when a visitor comes to the house it helps a bit because they will be forced to say oh hallelujah we'll be talking and all that but when the visitor leaves then they continue oh it's saying i know that you you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about bitterness can cause divorce bitterness can destroy friendship bitterness destroy churches bitterness destroys nations it destroys nations there is no government that can rule effectively when there is bitterness among his ranks how will i know that i'm bitter how will i know that i'm suffering from bitterness i'll give you one or two and then i'll continue next week if god grants the grace anger 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 at someone's action and then holding on to the anger you are bitter when you wake up in the morning with your wife and all that you do is to talk about this man who hurt you it means that you are bitter at that man if that is your morning cup of tea then you are in trouble trouble and the two of them will discuss and justify themselves thinking that this man has hurt us if you don't want anybody to hurt you the earth is not a good place for you you don't want anybody to hurt you the earth is not a good place for you and the people Hey, this one has done this this one has that don't mind them yeah, you let them go and live on the moon as for this world we are someone who hurt you so if you have to carry all this and put in your heart and justify yourself 
you die before your time so be boba we nyina no na odi mu ya odie na sie wa kuma mu a wan hwa na wa wumpofre mu wo hatred o time unforgiveness am fanche and i'll take this one and then i'll put a comma with the way e to na ma sa people keep records of evil wo a wo di ya ono bibia mu wo de nsem ese wo mu i was asked to go and arbitrate between these two pastors i thought that the matter was yes going to be easy i was going to advise them pray for them i tell them my friend why are you doing this then i just pray for them and they will move on i think that was in january yeah my area head has sent me to actually talk to them and so we gathered the, the three of us and then i uh, asked uh, one of them as to what the issue is the kind of idea then he reached to his bag and then he he, he brought out a notebook and he said number one <laughs> so when i saw the book and i had number one i knew i was in trouble because issues like that one person you can't handle it. Peter people they keep records of evil you do something against this fellow and the person recourses. So once he said number one, I knew that he was so bitter. He needed time to deal with the matter. When we were growing up as teens, we had this choir in our local assembly. All good friends. But somehow something happened. This lady was not actually coming to church because of what happened. But she was my neighbor. So presiding elder asked me to go and actually find out why she's not coming to church because we went to church one Sunday and she was not there. So I went to her house. And I went straight to her room. Then I saw her in the room. I said, Brother Eric, what are you doing here? No, say, oh, Eric, go out, go out, go out. Pie, 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 pie. Yes, what is this? Why are you sucking me? I don't know. Pam, the presiding elder asked me to come to you. The presiding elder said, "Mimra, me show." Find out whether you are okay. Me, me show. So it is saying, "Go and tell the presiding elder that I'm not dead." So, go, go catch the presiding elder and say, "Me, why?" Oh, why? Hey, I don't. Then I decided to sit down. I'm here. My friend said, "Where did you sit now?" So I sat. Tell me, trans. On one of the chairs there. I want to know who you be so. That's very rich. What? What 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 is wrong with you? No, sir, Eric. I He actually dragged me. Yeah, for more than three me. But when I was going out, me be you Then I saw these dates on her wall. And now just one room, small room line. I don't get to one. But me be you know, me who say what check check dates be a what a buy no. Why do you write? And write dates on your wall. Now make a change. Ah, I didn't know what you are saying. Change dates in your idea. I will buy one. Then she pulled me in again. And I signed me back with you. You seen this date? So when was that date we? And she tell me about the story. No, I tell me we afraid of him. There are some of the things that has asterisks against it. Yeah, date now. What church you need be a while? What should I do? Since I am since I am. Some of them had three asterisks. The bins were one since I am no. Be me and some. And the one that had three. Was the matter that I knew? Serious matter. Now listen. If you have all this on your wall, how can you sleep? That is why bitter people they have sleepless nights. They are, they are sick of insomnia. <laughs> because any time that this lady wakes up to even go and pass water and she sees this these dates. Those things will 
come back blessed are the pure in heart see God eventually she left the church then after a while we just couldn't trace her we couldn't trace her but it began like this those days when we get close from church to be the first person to live otherwise we were always chatting here and there and then we knew that something was going on until i went to the house and i saw that she was keeping records of evil don't keep records of evil blessed are the pure in her don't allow bitterness to kill you and to destroy many and to destroy many you see let me just say this and then we'll close mm. when you hear any person among who is a member of a group and he is fighting the group that person is bitter so let's say a member of the church of pentecost and then the person says you you pentecost people once you hear these words come out of a person's mouth arrest the person the person is sick we have to take him to pentecost hospital for proper examination what you are a member of the church why do you say you pentecost people something has happened it is this disturbing the spirit what is any panel air casa sa if i saw you know i'm going to be paying for ambulance me and fun on call i have here it's answer sunny panel why are you as i said pentecost young coupon it's on the area yeah it's true if you are not calling the heads, then call ambulance. Because sometimes they are even dead already. Chances are you can't be crying with good at that. I don't know. And all these things make the world some people are full of pride. You just touch them and then they let the whole world hear. They are bitter and they are just they are justifying it. Instead of reflecting and changing. And sometimes the thing that they are even thinking of, the other person who is supposed to be the offender has no idea. <laughs> Some many years ago. Yeah, we went to church. We were all dancing. We were jumping as young people. And then this lady stepped on my toes because he just jumped and then on my toes. And the mommy, thing was spinning me. So I decided to go and then <laughs> sit somewhere. And then when the presiding elder said we should just sit down. When she was passing by me, she, she also waved me. Yeah. So I got very angry. <laughs> so you have stepped on my, my toe and you are still waving me. And what me so and That was a, a, about a Friday. I know if you had a Sunday I didn't go to church. All because of that. Thing was paining me. Yeah, me yeah, we pa. This girl. Ah, How can she do that? Abaye, I didn't know yes, sir. Then hmm. after church, I saw these church members coming to me. When they got to my house, uh, they wanted to find out why I didn't come to you. So the leader of the team, we're all friends, the leader of the team ask this question and then when i said oh there's nothing wrong and uh, she he just said okay then we'll see you this evening because those days we used to go for sunday evening service but this girl was part of the team that came to visit and so when the leader said it okay then it doesn't matter we will see you in the evening then the lady said hey brerick 
enti bra eh o kan difo no ka se o eh ye be hia anwumere no e na oba no ka se eh bra eric be careful of these members ura eric hwa sorry me ye pa o hwa hu ye won don't let anybody disturb you me bo bia ntete o i know that some of the members are not good me jidi se nipa ni bi wonya nipa papa but you we are all looking up to you now so what ye wo ye nipa papa yenyina ye hwa wasua won don't let them destroy your good heart me ma wo mu bia nse wa koma pa no I was looking at her. Na me sheni di. But as she continued to speak, na all kasano, strength was leaving. Na ma huwa di nso kwe shine. I was confused. Na fe ma juni ma me kense ne. And then she finished admonishing me. Na fe owe se o tu me for me. And then the leader said, one of you should pray. And na okendi for ne kase mumu ba kumompa e. Guess who prayed? Why? And na osho obe bompa e. The same sister. A raya praying for me and na all bomb pay man nobody should disturb me in this church obi ha me e wa sori nim to us we have i just open my eyes all bomb pay ni na no ma bue mani e e hwem pay no i realized that i mean who no say she doesn't have any idea o nim kura se bibi sa asi se bia wati amenan so she even feel she stepped on my toe yeah o nim kura se wati amenan so mpoda Read a good prayer. Oh, bomb pa ya pa, eh, mami. And today, look at him. Nena, share me. It is a prayer that has brought me this. Eh, yani pa ya ne mami, su jina wa ne mini. The bitterness. Yaudi e. Blessed are the pure in heart. In shirane ni anakume muti e.